we're going to do our linear stress test for the cervical spine. Basically what we're doing is we're just checking to see if there's some increased shear at different levels. So we're looking for abnormal noises or provocation. We want to make sure our palpation isn't the provocation, like being heavy handed. So you want to be gentle. When we're doing anterior shear with the patient, basically what we want to do I'm going to reverse my hands. My IP joints are on the segment above and my thumbs are on the segment below. And I do a gentle lumbrical grip. And in doing that, it brings the top segment anterior. So that's anterior shear. If I was doing posterior shear, I just shift my fingers in the opposite position. So then I'm bringing the top one posterior. We use terms like stress test and shear and it makes you feel like you need to bring your A game. You don't. So just go gentler. If you're feeling bilateral pulses under your thumbs, it's probably a little bit too aggressive and a little bit too over the carotid, so readjust. You can do lateral shear. just coming on either side of the joint. And then you can do one where your IP joints under one joint and under the other joint and you lift. And when you lift, that'll cause some of that rotational shear. So if I was going to, so that's what it looks like on the model. Now we'll look at it live. So when we're doing the stress test, you want to identify the sternocleidomastoid because you know under the sternocleidomastoid is the transverse processes for most of the vertebrae. I'm going to have him scoot up a little bit just so I can, and a little bit more just to the top of the, good. So I'm just having it rest on my belly a little bit just to give some slight compression, but I'm not like, it's not like a super, it's just a hint of compression. So you don't have to bring your A game. My mentor had Earl, called it his manual therapy pouch. He had a little bit of a Guinness belly. He's like, if you want one, grow your own. So he would use that just to add a little bit of compression, which is basically just simulating gravity. So if I was doing anterior shear, my top knuckle essentially, is underneath, my thumbs are sliding in on the side above, and I'm lifting. I switch my hand positions to do the posterior shear with my thumbs on the above segment. Lateral shear. Going to an end feel and holding it. And then rotation. So you're doing a little bit of a lift and a little bit of a lift. Looking for clicks, clunks, provocation. And I can't stress enough, and Ty can admit, I'm not using that much pressure at all. So if you need an example on what it feels like have me come and demonstrate. But it's just, if you play around enough with this joint, realize how little force you need to do to glide your joint. And I've used this as a demo so much that I think I've made it a little bit more mobile, which is fine. But this is what, this is what we're trying to get when we're doing the glide. So when we're doing the stress test, that's the pressure you're going to do. So if you're, if you're on those bony landmarks well enough, then it's gonna take very little force to do it. So even though they're called stress tests, just don't over stress.